Hey there, Finch friends. I've got a brand new Finch lesson. Remember when you launch Finch and do open scratch, if it doesn't pop up the warning, then you have to do the ad flash. Mine does pop up the warning, so I can open it on the window here for the plugin. I don't need to worry about that because I can see the green light. I am connected. This is going to be a brand new lesson. It's going to be called Finch Knows All. So let's do file save project because remember we have to save and I'm going to put mine in my documents and I've got a spe special Finch folder. You can just store it in your documents, but we're going to name it Finch Knows All. It's up to you if you want a space or not. When you're done with that, hit save and on the backdrop, let's make a little remote control by switching to our vector mode, grabbing the rectangle tool and drawing a nice remote control shape for the Finch Knows All project. Let's pick a color and fill it in. I always like to fill it in with light colors. There's my light blue. And then I'm gonna type the words up at the top where it says Finch Knows All. With an exclamation point, I'm gonna click on the pick tool. I'm gonna pick another color for that just cause it's kinda cool. I'm gonna arrange it how I want. I am going to duplicate it. By just clicking the duplicate key, I'm going to bring the duplicate down here, or the duplicate, and I'm going to change it to ask me a question. And when I'm done with that, I'm going to click back on the pick tool. One of the wonderful things about Finch robots is that they can talk, and we're going to utilize that to make an awesome talking Finch that can ask questions. So let's go over to the sprite box, and we need to paint a new sprite. Once again, make sure you switch it to vector and just draw a small rectangle that's going to be the button. Choose the fill color that you want and click fill to paint it. Switch to the text tool. Click anywhere close to your button and let's type click here, which will be the first button people click to get the project started. Does not make sense to have the color be the same, so let's click the color tool and then pick another color for how you want the words to be. Arrange your words on top and then you can shrink them so they fit or you can click the pink button and stretch it so that it's larger. And then over on your remote control, drag it where you want it to be. This is where it gets kind of fun, friends. Click the scripts, and we need a when this button is clicked uh, event. So find the when this sprite is clicked option. Notice we're on the sprite and we drop it out. And then we want it as soon as it's clicked to say something. You can see here I have typed, I am the all-knowing Finch, and I put an exclamation point. Now what's neat is this immediately, I am the all-knowing Finch works. When you click that button, it will say it. We're going to add a couple pieces though. Let's go to control and let's drop in a wait two seconds. Since it's kind of a long sentence, we want to make sure it has time to complete everything it's going to say. Let's duplicate that set of steps and let's add the second sentence. Let's put in a real cool ask me a yes or no question and then test it. I am the all-knowing Finch. Ask me a yes or no question. Let's see if it sounds different if we put a question mark after it. This is just a test of the system. I am the all-knowing Finch. Ask me a yes or no question. Eh, I don't know if it changed it or not, but that is really cool. Let's use our previous skills to real quickly make the Finch LED light up so it looks kind of sweet as well as the question is being spoken. I'm going to do that by just dropping a re keep repeat command underneath the wait two seconds. And then in the repeat, I'm going to put a four time repeat and I want it to change colors four times between these different ones that I'm going to put in. So I'm going to just go 255 for the red, and then I'm going to duplicate that, and I'm going to switch to 255 for the blue. So it'll just flash. I'm going to set this back to zero, 
You can of course pick other cool choices and then I'm going to put a one second wait on either side of that repeat. When you hit start and stop, you can check out how yours looks. That felt way too slow for me, and it's because of the weight. So I'm going to change those to weight 0.25. And then I think I might be able to get away with this being a 1 second weight, or maybe I'll change it to a 1.5 second weight. Let's make another button real quick. If I right click duplicating the first button, arrange it where we want click on that second button and then we want to delete all of its code for a second and let's just click on his costume remember because he is a vector we can change the words and let's change this to say click and ask and then we're gonna click on the click and ask and so that our buttons stay the same we will shrink it let's go back to its scripts and all we need for this one is the speak clearly and just make sure that it says ask your question out loud and let's check it ask your question out loud that's perfect so now we can go on so let's complete that trick again we'll leave this code just lay in here for now duplicate and on this sprite when we click it let's move our button to where it needs to be Let's click on its costume and let's change its name using the nifty text tool. Remember it's a vector so it allows us to adjust it and type that so it says the answer. So when they click this script, it will give them the answer. All right, so we're gonna build an amazing answer system and we're gonna do that using data. First, make a variable and call it answer, A-N-S-W-E-R. Next, I need you to make a list of answers. When you type list, let's name it Y or N for yes or no answers, which looks weird as yarn, but trust me, it'll be useful. Now, you'll notice over here the list shows up and there's a little plus sign. Click that. And then let's type a simple one. Let's give it a yes. Let's give it a no. Let's give it a I don't think so. And then continue to add pleasant phrases. Uh, if you mess one up, just hit the X. Notice I did likely, but I spelled it wrong. But you just need 10 possible answers that can be not funny, but make sure they're also polite. All right, so you can see I stretched this so I could put in all 10 of mine. Yours can be different. Just make sure they're friendly. When you've got your list, you can get it out of your way by right-clicking and doing hide. Otherwise, it'll always be in front of your project. All right, friends, so let's take our variable the answer and set it to speak the answer. And then let's set the answer to item one of yarn, which of course is yes or no. And now let's click the answer quick. Yes, 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 yes. See how it's always number one? Watch how easy this is to fix switch to your amazing operators and drop in random number between one or ten and check out the magic of course not going to happen all right so let's check it out when we hit the answer it speaks it but let's add a little bit more time let's give it two seconds in between it it is likely no not going to happen Count on it. It is likely. Count on it. Not going to happen. That is so sweet. It always does something epic. Simply because we had a list and we used that list to pick the right answer and make it happen. If you have more than 10 numbers in your list, make sure that you change your number to something larger than 10. If you need to adjust your list, you can put in the real quick uh, show your list button. 
and when you click the next time it pops up and then you can go through and just retype these however you want uh, remember I stretched them out so I had more room to type I'm gonna right click this and click hide I am going to remove this chunk and I'm just gonna leave these down below they're not hurting anything because they're not attached I'm gonna click file save project so I don't lose it remember it was no at all and I'm gonna delete the double SBX and I'm just gonna save it and it'll say do you want to replace and I'm gonna tell it yes friends thanks for following this cool lesson I hope you enjoyed it if you have a question or a comment add it below if you liked it please hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed please click subscribe and if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me HL mod tech hit that notification bell have a great day friends